Hello, everyone. All right, let me get myself situated on this little stool here. Um, happy Saturday. I hope you're all doing super, super well. I'm coming on live um, to speak on body positivity and self-love. So let me know where you're catching me from, either Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, because I'm going to be uploading this in all the places. You can find me in all the places at Steph and Tara Coaching. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to come on here real quick to talk about this subject because I've been feeling called to do something around that for the last minute or so. Like, I don't know, maybe like the last month or something. Um, but now I feel good to talk about this. <laughs> like, I feel like it's the time. So anyway, I just got on maybe like an hour ago, I think it was, because I worked out for about an hour. So it was like an hour ago <laughs> to talk about like how I think I'm an alien. <laughs> If you're on Facebook and you follow my personal account, um, if you're on YouTube, I'll put the link in the comments below. Follow me. Don't friend me. Just follow. But anyway, um, I, I shared how I think I'm an alien because of all these like weird birthmarks on my body. Um, and then I was like, oh, I'm going to go work out. So I just got done working out. Right. That's why I have my post-workout glow going on <laughs> and my hair is looking a hot mess or whatever, but it's all good. Um, so I wanted to talk about body positivity and self-love because... I think that's a, something that a lot of people struggle with, like whether you're a male or female, like we all have certain struggles with like loving and accepting our bodies or different parts of our bodies. And I know as a woman, like there's definitely been a big struggle for me in regards to like loving and accepting my body because of a lot of different things. <laughs> like, first of all, you know, it's um, media and, you know, how beauty has been portrayed during my lifetime, <laughs> you know, making me think when I was younger, like, you know, skinny was was good, was pretty, was acceptable. And if I wasn't skinny, then I was horrible. You know, I looked ugly or whatever. And certain other like um, things like around, you know, the fact that I'm a, you know, brown Latina woman. And typically growing up, I didn't see too many people of color on, you know, like, uh, what is it? Commercials or magazines or whatever. It was mostly like white women. No offense to the white women that follow me, <laughs> whatever. But this is just my experience as a person of color. And, um... And so like all of these things, you know, that made me feel like not comfortable in my body and um, I had issues with it. And so that was my struggle, like growing up as a teenager was like, I'm not skinny enough. Um, my nose isn't like uh, as defined as it should be, as it's supposed to be. Um, I'm too dark or whatever it was. Right. And um, hello to everyone joining me. Feel free to chime in and drop your comments, experiences, all that jazz. And so yeah, you know, that's was my struggle. And it's interesting because like, for those of you that know me that you've been following me for a while, you know, I'm Peruvian, but I was raised in, in the United States. And um, I talked about that in my last video about being an alien. <laughs> anyway, um, and like how I felt like I never was like from here nor there, you know, and my confusion with my personal identity, that's been an interesting journey. So anyway, um, it's interesting because like when I came back home to Peru, like, I got the opposite um, experience in regards to like body image because here in Latin America, well, in Peru, I don't know, I can't speak for every Latin American country, but I know in Peru, like you typically see like curvier, rounder women, you know, women with some, you know, a little something, something to grab on. <laughs> and it was just like mind blowing to me because it was like so normal here, so acceptable. Like you could see like these slim men next to their very curvaceous woman. <laughs> and it was like, you know, like good. And it just like blew my mind, you know, because I would think to myself, especially back in the day um, when I still had like a lot of like deep insecurities and issues with my body and um, just a lot of traumas and things like that. Like I remember like looking at that and just judging the woman and just being like, damn, I couldn't, I could not let myself get to that point or whatever it was. I feel comfortable. But it was like a lot of my own stuff, you know, because of like how I was raised growing up and stuff. Um, and you know, like I was also raised around someone who like would always feel uncomfortable with their body. And I think subconsciously that that affected my whole like body image too. Cause I would see them like being upset with like their muffin top or whatever and i think that subconsciously like got transferred to me but anyway so it just kind of helped me when i came back home to feel like more comfortable around the fact that like oh it's okay it's okay if i have a little you know extra weight around you know my midsection or i have some like you know these little rolls or whatever like it's okay because the men over here they like this <laughs> so i was like whatever you know it helped me to kind of feel more at home in my body um being around a culture that 
like generally like is okay with that ex is accepting of that you know and that's not to say that um people here don't like slimmer women or anything like that it's just that it's like more normal i guess in a way um and so i just thought that was inter interesting so anyway right if you've been following me for a minute you know i've been like on this little um personal fitness journey or whatever since november because you know like November and December I was going through like a mini dark night of souls going through stuff and um, fitness really helped me to like maintain my emotional sanity. I just got into it and I've always been fit like on and off like all my life, but I was never like completely like consistent like for months on end, you know? I would like, you know, get on it for a while and then like get off it, get on it, get off it. So anyway, um, out of like my own personal like mental well-being and stuff, I started working out, you know, in November and it's been like three and a half months now. And um, one of the reasons why I decided to do it, if maybe you've seen my previous videos I shared, is because, you know, like I've always had this goal of like being in a certain physical shape, um, like have a certain physique as like on my vision board. Like I've had that on my vision board because I want to achieve that uh, physique out of what it represents to me, which is like the fact that I'm strong, <laughs> you know, and like I showed up and I put the work in for myself and, you know, like just feeling even sexier and just even better. And so that's what I've been working towards. But it's interesting, right? Because like, if I stand up right now, hold on a second, Ugh. okay. So if I stand up right now, like I just got done working out, so like my stomach's a lot tighter right now. You should have seen it like an hour ago. <laughs> I was like flabby, but whatever. <laughs> and you may have seen like my previous videos as well. Like um, I share on Instagram, my stories and on um, my Facebook stories as well. Like me, you know, having like a post-workout dance session or whatever. And I'm just dancing and dancing. And like as I'm dancing and moving after my workout, like my, my abs, like everything is tighter now. So you can like kind of see my abs. And it looks like I'm in the, you know, best shape in the world. Like, look, at oh, girl, look at you. Hey, <laughs> I've been I've been admiring myself lately a lot because I'm like, girl, you in shape. Look at you. Mm, yes, yeah, sexy. And I just talk to myself, <laughs> which everyone needs to do, by the way. OK, if you do not. I've been meaning to say this to people because I've been wanting to take a, a, a picture of myself and share it on social media. But whatever, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. So I really think that people really need to like every day or every few days or something at least once a week like you need to take the time to stand in front of the mirror and find something about your body that you like that you love that you're like oh my god like this is beautiful this is perfect this is amazing right like sometimes i look at myself and i'm like oh look at your shoulders girl they look nice they look defined look look at how the the sunlight is like glistening off your sweat up here <laughs> and you look sexy and i just like compliment myself like this you know and then i just find different things to like compliment myself so anyway so I just got done working out, right? My, my core is tighter, whatever. You can see like my abs are starting to come in more. Finally, it's been a journey. Oh girl, look at that. Yeah, that wasn't there like an hour ago. I promise you it wasn't. <laughs> and, um, and so anyway, right? It's interesting because like most people watching me, you know, they'll see me and they'll be like, oh, Stephanie's own shape or whatever. She has a nice figure, da 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 da, like whatever. But, you know, we all have like our challenges with our bodies and we all have to like learn to embrace our bodies, you know, it, you know, because we all have different shapes and sizes and different like personal internal struggles around that. And so like one of the things that I've had to like overcome for me, especially like on this fitness journey, because you know, when you're on your fit fitness journey, like a lot of times you want to see results right away. <laughs> That's why you have to be really clear about like why you do this in the beginning. Like it can't just be about the physical things, you know, it can't just be about that because otherwise you're going to grow impatient when you're not seeing results um, coming in as fast as you want them to. And then also you're probably not doing them for like the highest possible reasons right so like i know my deeper underlying reasons for why i want to get in shape and all that stuff and um so anyway right but i'm one of those people that like i am considered like skinny fat right like i'm i look slim on the outside but like y'all don't even know i probably have the last time i checked like years ago i had like a high percentage of body fat it was like 20 something and i was like what <laughs> And I was like, this explains this, like, gut, you know, this muffin top, like, you pesky muffin top, you know, <laughs> it's all here. <laughs> and I, I blame my parents, I blame my mother <laughs> for giving us soda all the time to drink, like, water when we were growing up and all this junk food, like, growing up in America, junk food is just so cheap. And I, like, my mom used to work at, um, at a grocery store, and so she would, like, bring, like, these 
like boxes and boxes of like canned soda and chips and you know when you're a kid you know the junk food the sugar you're just like yeah <laughs> you're just going all out and um so i would like binged on all that stuff and i think that's how i got a lot of this um like visceral type fat or like this i don't know extra fat whatever and i've been eating like really clean the last I don't know, maybe like eight, nine years now. I, you know, am basically like on a plant-based diet. I just eat eggs now. Um, but I was vegan for four and a half years. I've eaten clean more or less um, the last few years. I mean, I still enjoy myself. And um, anyway, so it just like blew my mind, like how I couldn't lose like this, you know, excess fat around my stomach, like my core. Cause I'm like, oh man, other people eating the way I do, like they look great. Like how come I can't get these abs to come in no matter, you know, whether I exercise or not, or like I'm eating right, like why won't this, you know, happen for me? And I was frustrated. And so, you know, I had to learn to like let that go over time and like learn to love and accept my body and just be like, you know what, like it is what it is. Like you have some extra, you know, stuff around your midsection, like it's all good. You know, you're still beautiful, you're still sexy. You don't need to have the abs or whatever to feel sexy. Like you need to learn to love yourself. And so that was kind of like the journey I was on for like the last couple of years or so was like learning to just be okay with the fact that like I have extra, you know, fat or whatever around my, my midsection and just being like, you know what, it's all good. Like it's all good here. You know, I still love my body, still does so much for me. It's, you know, put up with my crap. <laughs> it gets me places like I'm healthy and I'm grateful for that. And so I've had to learn to be on that journey. And I think everyone you know, like has to learn to get to that point of like loving and accepting your body, no matter like what stage it's in. Like you have to get at a point where it's like you love and accept your body as it is. And then once you've accepted, I think where it is, how it is, then you can shift into um, making positive changes to transform your body, but you're doing it for the right reasons. Does that make sense? So like I learned to love and accept my body, like with the extra fat, it doesn't matter. Um, and learning to like let go of the shame around that and letting learning to let go of like the discomfort that I felt like the insecurity that I felt or self-consciousness when I would be like intimate with someone and then just be like oh man they're gonna see my rolls <laughs> you know like oh uh, you know I had to like learn to get that like out of my head and just be like you know what whatever I got a little something something to grab shit <laughs> No, give me some hearts if you know what I'm talking about. Like, so anyway, so I had to learn to be okay with that. And then once I was in this place, you know, of like feeling better, um, I had to start working out for the right reasons. So I started like running last year and all this other stuff. And then it eventually led into working out in November because of like mental health reasons. So anyway, right? What is the point of this video? <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me if you're still with me so far. So anyway, I think it's really important to you know, showcase that we all have internal struggles or whatever. And what I really want to emphasize today, especially, is that, you know, people might look at me and they think like, oh, Stephanie, you know, is so slim or fit or whatever. And she lo she's looking great now. Look, she's like getting toned and all this other crap. But it's like, listen, okay, I still have like fat and I can show you, okay. And I didn't think I was going to do this live ever, but whatever, you know, like, this is me and I'm just speaking my truth, my mind. So anyway, I, first of all, okay, I have, I still have these rolls here, which I love, <laughs> but I love them because I'm like, you know, some women, like they have like issues around like these rolls and they're like, oh, these rolls, I don't want them. Da, da, da. I'm like, what's wrong with you? Like learn to love your rolls. Like this is what a man can grab <laughs> or a, a woman or whoever you're with, you know, like, this is this is not bad you know they're disappearing though because of the workouts but you know like I'm actually okay with this you know like I don't mind this and then around like my midsection and stuff right I still have a muffin top hold on a second hold on relax <laughs> hold on so I still have like hold on why are you hiding now you're like always visible all right so it's, it's shy it's shy okay it's like put on the spot right now <laughs> So I still have like a lot of this excess fat, which used to be bigger, believe me, like three months ago, it was like so much bigger and it used to like bother me um, so much. But like, you know, I've just learned like whatever, like it is what it is, you know, and I'm just going to enjoy it and enjoy it being there because I know what it represented, like this excess fat. Let me tell you, one of the reasons it hasn't probably wanted to go away is probably because of, um, First of all, being too much of my masculine energy, 
Um, Cause I learned recently with like, um, I don't know who I listened to, but someone said like, women who are more like testosterone dominant, meaning more masculine energy, tend to hold weight around their midsection, whereas women who are more estrogen dominant, meaning more feminine, um, and this is like excess, like excess masculine, excess feminine. So women who are more estrogen dominant, more feminine energy, um, excess feminine energy, hold weight more around like their lower section, like the, the bottom, you know, waist down, maybe arms. Um, and so I was like, oh, that makes sense, you know, like, <laughs> like the light bulb went off in my head because I was like, yeah, I've been too much of my masculine. <laughs> I've been out here doing things. <laughs> this is just who I am. Like I'm a fiery person and I get things done and I'm just like, you know, not playing games out here. Um, I got things to do, places to be, you know, you've probably heard me say that a bunch of times in this journey. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm learning to like reel that in and learning to um, be more in, in like this feminine <laughs> receptiveness and flowingness and trustingness <laughs> um so anyway so that's part of the reason then the other reason is also because of um like deep you know healing still that i've needed to do around like being seen as who i truly am and loving and accepting myself on greater levels and seeing like my worth and all this other stuff because like you know your your gut this area represents the core of your being like the, your physical being the core of who you are and so when you have excess fat around here you're protecting the core of who you are because you've been hurt you've been you've experienced traumas or things like that that have made you materialize in the physical form like some barrier out here to keep people from seeing the true you from accessing the true you like this is my belief at least like take what resonates leave what doesn't but this is like what i believe this is what i teach is like everything is a physical manifestation of like what you're truly believing thinking feeling deep down inside and consciously but especially subconsciously that's what creates your reality if you signed up to receive my free mini healing program called unlocking your potential i will drop the links to that in the comments below in all the places um that is being hosted on the lighthouse community platform um, and it's there for you free to help you understand this on a deeper level and like you know the how it makes sense but like I firmly believe like everything's a manifestation of like what's going on internally inside you and so you know I know for me like even though I've been super authentic and like real all these years that I've been on social media doing my work like in these recent months I've discovered like oh there's like another level of like authenticity and another level of like showing my true self to people and i have been holding back from that unconsciously and like it's time to be more of that which is why many of you who follow me actively you've seen me like be more sensual be more of my like sexual i've expressed more of my like sexuality online and um being more lighthearted and fun and you know like showing these more like private parts of myself like my imperfections or whatever just because like this is who i am and i'm just like whatever, I don't care anymore. Like, I'm just gonna be me, <laughs> you know? And so like learning to like heal through that and process that even further and letting that go. And, you know, with the exercises as well, like simultaneously, like it's all helping me to like release this excess weight. But like, you know, I'm, I've, I've just had to learn like to just be okay with my body, you know, no matter where it's at, you know? And there are times in this physical, you know, fitness journey where like sometimes it, it seems as if my body's like going backwards and like I've put on weight and I'm like, what in the world? Like I've been working out, I've been eating right. Like why is my body getting all crazy now, <laughs> you know? But I had to like take those opportunities to be like, whatever, I'm still gonna exercise unconditional love for myself and this body and just accept it where it is and let it be okay. And just not get fixated on my, you know, end result, my end goal, which is like a certain physical, um, a, a certain physique and just be like whatever it's all good you know and learning to practice that and practice that because um when i do find i get like little moments here and there where like i might get frustrated because i feel like i'm moving backwards and i'm like a forward moving person <laughs> i'm like let's go i got places to go things to see you know um i have to learn to be like hold on a second you know like okay you know what's going on here like why am i getting frustrated these are just like expectations things whatever from outside of me and i'm not i'm not doing that like i'm gonna do me i love me in this moment love this body in this moment and i'm just gonna like accept it and let it be what it is right so i wanted to come on here to kind of talk about that also because oh also like last night was it last night or like two hold on a second like two nights ago i was talking to a friend i think it was to like two nights ago or something and my friend was like feeling guilty because they had like 
you know, some kind of cheesecake or something. I don't know, some kind of cake or whatever. And they're like on a fitness journey themselves. And um, they were feeling bad because they were like, oh, you know, I shouldn't have eaten that, da, da, da. And I'm just like, listen, like, this is your one life right now. Like, enjoy it. I, last night, I got a vegan cheesecake, which is not good. It was so shook, like, ugh, like, so sugary and just like poor quality. And I was like, okay, I'm never gonna order cheesecake from this place again. <laughs> but then they had all these chocolates that are like Reese cups and they're filled with like peanuts, uh, peanut butter. And I got four of them. And I just like pigged out last night. <laughs> and I was like, I got the cheesecake. I got three of these chocolate thingies, which I know I was overdoing, but it's like once sugar gets in my system, it's hard to stop. <laughs> but like, that's what I, you know, I live my life and like, I'll have moments where I just like, I'll be like, you know what? I really want some fries and I'll have like fries two days in a row or whatever. And I'm like strict in a sense with like my fitness, my diet. Um, but at the same time, I'm not like I enjoy life. And that's part of like body positivity and, you know, self-love is like not being hard on yourself and thinking like, oh, my God, like I have to eat this way because otherwise I'm I'm screwing up, you know, everything. And I'm like doing this and uh, like, don't do that to yourself. Don't like basically, you know, I don't know how. How else I can say this in the nicest way? Hold on, let me try to find good vocabulary because I'm trying not to cuss as much because <laughs> I've been listening to too much rap lately. And like that that part of me is just wanting to come out all the time now, like swearing all the time. Um, don't, don't like screw yourself over in your mind basically and beat yourself up over like where you're at in your fitness journey or you know what your body looks like in this moment or um whether you had like a, a cheat day or a few cheat days or whatever like just love and accept yourself in that moment and be okay with that you know and find all the good in that and relax relax and yeah you know just enjoy yourself so that is the message i wanted to share today you know around like oh my own fitness journey and stuff is because i don't want anyone to think like I think it's so easy for people to come to their own conclusions, even if that's like maybe not your intention with how you share things like me as a public figure. Like, yeah, maybe like I'm going to share obviously like the best of me or what I feel is like the best of me, <laughs> you know, and like me looking good, working out or whatever. But I don't want people to think like, oh, you know, she's so perfect or da da da. It's like, no, I still got rolls. I still got this fat, you know, I still got this, but it's all good here. You know, like I'm loving myself. I'm enjoying myself in the process. I'm still eating chocolate. <laughs> I still have some days where sometimes I binge too much, <laughs> you know, and it's all good. Like it's part of the journey and just learning not to be so hard on ourselves, you know? And so I wanted to share that today. I really hope it helps whoever needed it um, and it supported you on your journey. And um, that's basically it. I'm gonna go through your comments right now and see what y'all have said, if you said anything. So here, this is here. Sorry, I meant to heart, love you. <laughs> You're so welcome, Lynn. Um, so love you too. Thank you, Sandy. I see you. You're over here watching as well. So that is my story for today. Um, and yeah, you know, like I have certain fitness goals I want to achieve. I, like I said, I have a certain physique I'm, I'm moving towards and I'm not there yet, but I'm instead of like beating myself up, like, oh my God, you've been like working out three and a half months now. You should see like more progress around your butt or you should see more defined arms or whatever the crap could be. Like I could do that to myself and we all do that to ourselves, you know, on some level. But luckily I'm at a place where like I have so much more self-love and I'm just so much better with myself, like my relationship with myself that like I don't do these things to myself anymore like I could have in the past. And I'm just like, no, like I am where I am and it's okay. And I know I'm eventually going to get to where I envision myself to be and it's going to be amazing. And this is just like part of the journey. Like y'all are going to see my transformation. I'm glowing up like y'all don't even know. <laughs> just watch, just watch. <laughs> so anyway, that's basically it. That's what I wanted to leave you with. If you got something out of this, I really hope um, that, you know, it helped you in some kind of way. Let me know how this message spoke to you today, how it resonated with you. Share your own journey with your own um, body image or um, body positivity or self-love journey with me in the comments below because I would love to hear from you. Might inspire me for something else. We never, we, you never know. And um, if you haven't yet followed me on Instagram or subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to do that. You can find me on social media as Steph Ventura Coaching. Uh, if you subscribe to me on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button, change the bell notification thingy, hit the bell, change the settings to all so you never miss out on a notification. And um, what else was I going to say? I don't know. I think that was it. Oh, yeah. I have a community. If you haven't yet joined my <laughs> Facebook community, 
<laughs> the link to that will be in the, the comment section of wherever you're watching from. I have an amazing community where um, we are just wanting to bring forward more love, light, and healing to the world. So if that speaks to you, come and join us there. So that's basically it. Thank you so much, everyone, for your time. I hope you're all having a lovely weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye.